is Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So hello everyone. Today's video we're going to be doing a fun reaction video to pharmacy content. But first, first, hold up. Can I get a little commotion for the dress? Can I get a I don't wear colors. I don't wear anything colorful. But when I saw this in Marshalls, I was like, oh, ah. Mmm. It was just a really pretty dress and I was like, oh my god, like I love it. So I don't wear colorful things, but all I'm gonna say is this is giving me a summer. Okay, love it. Anyway, so today's video, we're gonna be reacting to pharmacy content. So we have a lot of things we need to go over with this company. And again, just more educational information, the better. So before I hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below so you'll be notified of every single video I post. And without further ado, let's get into this. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are gonna be reacting to a couple of posts at first. I do want to pull up the income disclosure statement, though, again, to preface this, because this is very important. So this is the current updated pharmacy income disclosure statement. So this is an income disclosure statement that is made and it was about 2020. So let's look over this. So right now it shows that the percentage of all distributors that are in this rank at the 0% rank is 32.11% of distributors. Average annual commission of $206.59. Then furthering on 3% level is 31.49% of participants that are here in the company and average was 332. We have the 6% level which is 11.33% which is 778 $8.31 annually. And again, not including taxes fees or anything else, have about 74.93% of participants who are hardly making anything in regards to commission annualized every year. I've already discussed how sometimes the average annualized commissions can be very misleading. Median would be a number that I would personally want to focus on instead of average. However, this is what we have. So personally, from looking at these numbers, I would expect less money than what is being shown here. If we do also want to include the 7.60% of participants who are making an average of $1,295, we would have at least, again, 82.53% of participants who still, in my opinion, are not making a great amount of money. So just, again, I like to always preface these videos by able to show you how the chances of making money are very slim. And if you do work really hard and push through the ranks and try to do the best that you can, we can easily see that your effort is more than likely not gonna be compensated properly. Let's actually look at some Instagram posts that are made. So I've actually talked about this individual. She is one of the top leaders in the United States in regards to pharmacy. Her name is Kate Hughes. This is a post that she has. It looks like she has some teammates together and it says, there really isn't a way to put into words just how unbelievably proud I am of my girls and myself. It was year two as a team, two years since I said yes to this opportunity, year two of a massive amount of heart and freaking mad hustle. We're ending the year at over 3,900 hardworking business women, over 40,000 registered customers and together we have sold a f almost technically six million in total. That is very insane. You read that right. My girls and I sold 5.9 million dollars in 2021. That tells me a lot of things, but we'll get into that in just a second. They are more than doubled what we did in 2020. Those numbers paired with our 50% commission. When I say lives have been changed, it is the solid truth. Heart and hustle, I love you with all I am. I am so honored and proud to be your leader, to have you all by my side. You have completely changed my life. I wouldn't be the woman I am today without you. Here's to 2020 and millions of lives changed. So, so far with this post, it looks like at the time that it was created, she has literally almost 4,000 people on a team. Naturally, as we can see, there's a good amount of money coming from that. It's just blows my mind though that there have been so much product purchased, but I would love to know how much and what percentage of that is actually from external customers that have no connection or affiliation to pharmacy. So here's another Instagram post, same individual showing her checks, which personally I, I will never be cool with someone just showing off their money like this. I just think it's really tacky and fucking weird. I mean, like it's fine to have conversations about money, but from my personal perspective, like flashing checks like this is just kind of icky, but then to like continue on. In my opinion, she is only there and in these positions and making so much because she got into pharmacy when it immediately came into the United States. And then when people were joining, who else were they going to join under besides the first people that are in the company? So therefore, that's why she has such a massive team because it compounded after so long. But anyways, this caption actually is, again, her showing off her checks and says, two years and one choice to start over has built the most incredible, impactful, life-changing career. Got on a Zoom call today with corporate and my fellow top leaders, and I got a sneak peek at what is it being implemented and launching in 10 days. I kid you not, I started bawling. What pharmacy is about to do is unlike anything anyone has ever seen. New products, hello, health and wellness. Uh, again, I... 
I will never trust an MLM with my health and wellness. New personal development, hello corporate back system. New ways to earn, hello more money on top of our already number one paying compensation plan in the industry. So much more, I was sworn to secrecy pretty much. Changing the game for our customers, beauty influencers, and our leaders. It's hard starting over, but it's harder staying stuck where you are. $19.99 to start when it only feels ever. 50% commissions minimum on all customer orders. 3% to 25% monthly pay raises built on what you and your team sell. No website fees, annual fees, recruiting fees, no fees ever. Right now is the time to make that jump. Come build your business and team with me. My personal team is at a top 20 team, backed by daily support, weekly trainings, systems, and so much more. So they do state that they have no fees, and I cannot find any fees that are hidden. However, I will state that in order to stay active in the company, it does show that you need $125 in personal volume in a matter of six months in order to be considered active. And if you don't hit that, then again, your account will be closed. So it's not directly a fee, but that is something to consider as well. There's a lot of hype around this company so far and I understand like there's a lot of marketing in regards to oh my god we have high commission we do really good which like don't get me wrong I do think their commission is higher but there's a lot of things that I have a problem with and so let's actually get going into this another thing that I really wanted to share is there was a post that was made I am gonna blur her face though in this but she made a reel that was said anti MLM people read caption do not have time for this I do not have time for you I do not have time for this I do not so we can see she has no time for anti-MLM people. So her caption says, look, I get it. You join a business, you don't have success or had a bad experience. And so you think the rest of the companies are this way. I may just be better too if that happened to me. But guess what? There are actually companies that care for you, that pay you your worth and people who want to genuinely help you every step of the way. You have what it takes, but it's crucial to find the right business and the right people. I want to show you what it feels like. DMs are open. So again, I know she has problem with anti-MLM people. But again, something I would like to express is the majority of time when we come across people in regards to this company, or again, any other company for that matter, whenever it is the discussion of anti-MLM, it is never a, that's fine, here's our proof of why our MLM is good. Here's the statistics proving that this is a great opportunity. We don't ever get that type of response. All we get is a generic reel or someone that gets mad at us and that's it. And I feel like that really speaks volumes on why our argument is so strong and why they can't argue back because we're not wrong. We aren't whatsoever. So the rest of the video, I do want to react to a video that was posted up. It was posted up a good while back. This is on a Heart and Hustle Facebook community page. And so it looks like it's a video that's talking about why our team. So it looks like Kate is discussing why people should join her team and we're going to hear the reasons for that. So let's get going. Of the event. I'm so just filled with all of the emotions and let me know that you're here. Hi everybody. So I am going to wrap up this opportunity event. Um, I like to call it more of like an inspirational event because I, it shows more of the opportunity. Casey, you're too sweet for me. I just threw this on just for you guys. You're welcome. Um, but Red Love Lipstick is, is phenomenal. This is a really good color. Hi, my Joey. Hi, my Alice. And hi, you guys. All right. So show me some hearts if you've loved this, this event today. I have been watching every single one, and I am just filled with all of the emotions. Just it's, it's been so incredible. It's been so incredible. Hi, Christy. How are you? Hi, Sydney. So it's been so amazing to, as much as I already knew, like the stories and the success from the girls that we have on our team, it was just so incre incredible to hear it all over again and to see new sides from our girls, all of it. So hi, you guys. Look at the outfit change. I know. Y'all saw me at 9 a.m. and now it's 6 o'clock and we're a whole different mood over here. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Joey, you're so sweet to me. So I want you guys for, I'm going to do one more giveaway today. In fact, I'm going to give away this lip combo, which is my favorite. And it's, it's perfect for all year round. Okay. But now that we're like in winter, it's November, we're going to go and we're going to do the giveaway. It's going to be 227 liner and two or oh five red love matte, liquid matte lipstick. So I want you guys to be entered into this giveaway. I want you to tell me what was the number one thing you took away from the event today. Like what hit home with you the most? What hit you the hardest? What hit home the most? All right, so tell me that in the comments below whether you're catching the replay. You have 24 hours from the time of this video to be entered to win this lip combo. It's so good. I know, doesn't it? I got a baby shower this weekend. I'm like, I think I need red. <laughs> All right, so now that you have seen just, and this honestly is just a small portion of the leaders we have on our team, okay? Just a small portion. And it's just, it's just incredible. 
I am in the opportunity group, right? I would go live on our team page, but you know, <laughs> I'm a dork. Um, but this, this team, okay? So that's what I want to talk to you guys about to, to, to wrap this all up is this team. Why this team, okay? You have, if you're joining pharmacy, I'm sure you've done some research and you know that there are lots of teams out there, okay? So why join our team, okay? I like... So I've been around the I've been I've been around a little while. Okay, I've been in the industry for a while. I've been a part of tribes. I've been a part of wolf packs. I've been a part of dynasties and squads and all of it. And nothing ever really like fit or hit home with me. I always even in like these other teams that I was on, whether I loved them or I felt like an outcast, whichever it was, none of the titles of our team ever fit and like matched my heart or like my vision because here I am, this is my heart, okay? My heart is we don't do petty betties. We don't do jealous Nancy's. We don't do the unfriendly competition. We are friendship over business. We are collaboration over competition. Now you will see from the competition, we have challenges in our team. We just did something last month called Hustler Games. It was super fun. I get to announce the winner's team tonight. Um, we are, but we are collaboration over competition. Your sister's success in our team, in our girl gang. That's what we are. We are a girl gang, okay? In our girl gang, you have incredible women. You guys saw it tonight. These are just a, just a tiny fraction of the incredible leaders and women inside this team. It's phenomenal. And I hope you saw tonight and all day today, the heart that is behind this team. I hope that you saw that it is collaboration over competition. I hope that you saw that everyone has something so special and so valuable inside this team. And what you get when you join Heart and Hustle is exactly that. You have this fierce girl gang behind you who is going to love you tremendously. You can literally send a selfie and do our team chats and you're going to feel like the hottest thing to walk the face of the earth like you guys i was feeling self-conscious about my red lip and my girls hop on and i'm like I should wear more red more often like that's what you get here is you have like that friendship that you've always wanted okay so give me a red heart if growing up or any time you've struggled with making friendship with, with women. Okay, I cannot be the only one. Okay, so let's actually stop and talk about this. So this is a little bit of a video. Apparently there was some sort of like opportunity event during this time that was being shared in regards to the company and the team. So she's now discussing how she has been in the industry for a long time, which she has. She's, I believe, been in several previous MLMs before she was able to miraculously hit the jackpot essentially when she joined pharmacy because it came to the United States for the first time. It I think existed again externally in other countries for a while and then it came to the United States she was able to join and then ever since then she's done exceptionally well from what I've seen and made a lot of fucking money so she's talking about the team and her kind of past experiences in a way and now she's going on to be like well you know have, have you ever had negative experiences with being friends with people and she's going into the concept of friendships here and one thing that I always have a problem with with in regards to MLMs is the talk of friendships you shouldn't have to buy a starter kit to be friends with people or connect with them right however we notice that a main motivation behind some of these friendships are because someone's on a team. It's not actually a genuine friendship in my opinion because I feel like anyone that has a different perspective in regards to the company, you don't get that same type of positive response whatsoever. I mean, there are many people I've seen from her own personal reaction where if they did not support the MLM, then she was very just pissed off and very mad about it. So I personally would love to know, does she carry out the lovingness if someone decides to leave pharmacy? Let's be real here. If they don't support MLMs, is she a sweet friend still? Or is it only beneficial when you are making money for the team, when you are actively participating, when you are part of the team heart and hustle? I would love to know that, but it just so bothers me so much how this is kind of like an opportunity call where they're discussing like, well, this is why our team's so good. Like we don't have any competition. We love each other, but the dynamic in regards to MLM teams is just unethical and predatory in itself because the goal and drive behind it is not to grow everyone. It's a mentality of I need to do well in this company. And it's even sad to me too because I'm sure there's so many people in this company that have probably been in there for a hot minute and they're not really making good money. They're not doing so hot. They're not doing well. And again, it doesn't matter if you have maybe a good team or let's, yeah, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say that she does have a good team. Let's say everyone's nice. Let's say everyone's supportive and sweet. That doesn't change the fact that this company doesn't work for people people work for most people mind you growing up I've always had a hard time being friends with women I have had really great friendships with women 
but there's been so many bad situations where they're catty or they talk bad about you behind your back or I'm gonna try not to cry about this because it's something that has always been super hard. It's been really hard. I've been, like I said, a part of like tribes and squads and wolf packs and all of that. And I've been backstabbed. I've been talked bad about. I've been the subject of the room when I left. When Real quickly, now she's getting into concepts of negativity in teams. So apparently for what I'm getting from this is she has had bad experiences with former participants in teams, former teams that she has been a part of. Now, I want to absolutely say that I'm sure her experience is very valid. Like, you know, that, that is what we see a lot of the times is many people that are in these companies, like example, WFAB or other, just other teams that we've come across where there's many messy and ethical things that are happening. And we have a lot of people that are maybe in still or get out of those teams and they have major problems and they struggle because they lost friendships that they had but then they realize a lot of people that were there from at the time don't actually care about them so that is very sad and hard to deal with and I can't imagine what she experienced but again it bothers me because now she is and does have a major hold on a group team and a major a major team at that and I don't feel like there could be healthy relationships when the stability and foundation of that relationship with the MLM is about the MLM about the success about the growth about the development of being in that company. I don't trust the fact that you can be really good friends with somebody when maybe somebody isn't performing to your standard of what you need in order to be good in this team because success on a lot of these companies do depend on recruitment. So I just, I don't, trust it. Always the argument that I see is, well, our team's different. Our team is nicer. Our team is more fun. Our team is more collectively working together. And I just don't trust that argument at all. So again, I'm sure her experience is very completely valid. I'm sure she went through some really shitty things in her previous MLM. I wouldn't go as far to believe that this is completely different because sadly we have seen individuals like herself and others who have gone on sob stories on purpose, who have manipulated experiences to be like, I've been there, I can relate to you, but we're different. But she wants people to join join her team, which will overall make her numbers increase, make her paycheck increase and everything. There was good or bad, a lot of cases bad. And I've just been a lone wolf. Like I've got like a few select and it's usually just my family because I don't do that. I don't do the drama. I don't do the negative. If I have something to say about you, you're gonna know exactly how I feel. That's my heart. And that's what our team culture is, is it is a girl gang. You've got these fierce women who are going to love you, who are going to see you for exactly who you are. They're going to see you for what you think you're not. Okay, you think like you're not confident enough, we're going to tell you like we believe in you. And it's not just to like smoke you up and hype you up. It's the dang truth. Like we believe in you so fiercely. Like I may not know you right now, but I'm gonna tell you right now, like I believe in you. Again, I, I would like to discuss this emotional video. I really wanna talk about the emotion, everything behind this. If I, for example, had no concept of emblems, I would be watching this as a, oh my God, this woman cares so much. And she might care for people too. I believe in faith in a top leader actually giving a fuck about people over profit. I don't believe so. I think after so long, I feel like a lot of top leaders are sadly self-aware and they prey upon that because they're like, well, I'm making a lot of money. I'm just going to act like I care, even though it's really just more of, I wanna make sure my paycheck is coming in hardcore. There's me because I know this is gonna hit home for some people because I'm sure we have people that are watching right now really want a good friendship, that really want a good community. And when they see Kate getting emotional and like, oh my God, I'm so obsessed with these people. This is the best thing. This was such a huge answer to me. They're gonna be more inclined to join it. And it's sad to me because I feel like they're also gonna be inclined to join it, not only from a financial standpoint, but for a friendship standpoint. And I can't imagine the letdown it would be to notice that the company isn't doing too well and it's not actually providing good benefits to you. And it's just, I'm sure that there's gotta be so much letdown involved with people that join because I do not believe for a second that it is all sunshine and rainbows. That, to me, this is emotional manipulation. I strongly believe that. I'm sure because she's an upline, we see downlines really hype up and boost up their uplines and she can become a glorified person for them. And I feel like she does receive love, but do we really think the majority of people in this team, the what, 3,900 people that she said, do we really think that they're all getting this exact experience in regards to financial freedom, time freedom, and sisterhood? I beg to differ. I believe in you with everything that I have. Because I know, like I said in my story earlier, if I can do this, if any of our girls that shared their stories today and all of their girls and all today, if every one of them can do it, you can do it. 
So I believe in you. And that's what you're going to get here. Yes, empowered women, empower women. And that's what we have. I am so protective of our team culture. Every leader on this team is protective of our team culture because I know that it's not just a paycheck in this industry that's gonna keep you here. It's not just a paycheck or incredible products that's gonna keep you going, it's the sisterhood. And I still cringe to this day even saying that because like I said, you guys- so, Okay, so she knows that. She knows what can keep people is the friendship aspect. So she's harping on it extremely hard right now to get people in tights. Like she knows, she just admitted that she knows that that's what's gonna keep people in. She's like, it's not just the paycheck, it's like the sisterhood. So I'm like, okay, so even if people, this is my inference, people aren't doing as hot, just like the income disclosure statement shows, financially, they're gonna wanna stay because of the love bombing and everything that you are creating in your own group. You shouldn't have to pay to be friends with people. I've been with sisterhoods and where if I struggled to sell, I was out of that sisterhood. I wasn't in it. I wasn't good enough. In fact, I stumbled across an old team page that I with one of my previous companies and they were announcing that if you didn't hit X amount of dollars in October, you were going to be removed from the team page. That hurt my heart so bad because it shouldn't be like that. Like I said, we're friendship over business here. You are not a number. You would never be a number at all. Our, your goals are our goals. You come to us and you say, I want to make $5,000. We're going to be like, yes, you're going to make $5,000. Let's do the dang thing. Let's go right now. You come. I feel like this is just fake tears. Like, I feel like, like, yeah, I know she probably has some previous pain, but I feel like this is played to hell, like played up extremely. So that way she can relate to people more and show this emotion of, I care so much. I just, it makes me very uncomfortable. There are teams that exist where they really are like, okay, if you don't make a certain amount of money, we are kicking you out and it's disgusting and it's not cool. But I genuinely, truly do not believe that in the multi-level marketing industry, which is predatory in itself and unethical as it is, I truly do not believe for a second that there is not some sort of something going on in some of these teens that is unethical that is looking at somebody as just a number and that's it I don't trust that I really don't because in order to do well in this you have to have teams your dependency is on recruitment and on those people actually performing well for you so I, just, I don't like that and also it's so upsetting to me as she discusses like if someone comes to me and says that they want to make five thousand dollars we'll make that happen so because I'm sure everyone on the team would be like yeah I want to make a good extra amount of money that is worth worth my time, we wouldn't see the low numbers in that income disclosure statement. Um, and you say, okay, I just want, you know, to get these products at a really good affordable price because I, you know, I haven't found makeup that I love. Heck yes. Like, let me come show, come, come here. I'll show you my tips. Let me show you. I got this lip combo. Let me show you how I got this eyeshadow. You come and you're like, all right, my first goal is I want to hit, you know, $200 a month just to help pay for the groceries. Does not matter what your goal is, whether how large it is. If you want to be like, I want to make $10,000 a month, girlfriend, welcome to the table. Come in, come sit down at our table because I'm going to help you get there. It does not matter what your goal is because your goals are our goals. Every week Love how she stated that if somebody wants even a, a $200 extra dollars a month to pay for certain things, that doesn't even happen for the majority of participants in general. Like most people don't even make that annually. So leader that you saw tonight, every woman in our girl gang, your goals are our goals. There's no goal too large. There's no goal too small. There's nothing insignificant. There's nothing stupid. It does not matter. It does not matter. And in this team, you're going to have daily and consistent and weekly trainings and support. You're never going to feel like I don't know what to do because if that's the case, then you better head to the team chat because you got a fierce girl gang who's going to be like, all right, Give it to us, let me help you. And you're sitting here and you're like, okay, well, I don't know a lot about makeup. Like how would I even color match someone online to a foundation? We've got your back. Literally come take your customer selfie and pop it in our team chat. And you're gonna have many girls coming to you and helping you. You're never, never, ever going to be unsupported in this team. You're never, ever gonna wonder, is my upline, is my sponsor, is my director, is my leader, do, do they, are they, are they not proud of me? Do they think I'm useless because I didn't do X, Y, Z? That's not the case. In fact, the case is going to be the opposite. Your leader is going to be sitting here and okay, if she couldn't hit her goal this month, I'm going to take it personal as me. I take that on me. I'm sitting here like, okay, what can we do better this month? What can we do better this month? You will never, ever feel unwanted. You will never, ever feel unloved. You will never, ever feel like you are not in a clique because like I said, like we are not a clique. Like think like girl gang, like, all right? Like you want to go like, 
You got locked up in prison. You got your girl gang in there. You ain't gonna get like snatched from the back. That's what this gang is. You're not gonna have anyone come and stab you in the back. You're not gonna have anyone come and poach on your customers. You're not gonna have anyone come in to do any of the negative stuff because we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Well, we have heart and hustle is we've got massive hearts. I've never met, and I hope you saw that today, I've never met more women with the hearts that we have here. And I know that that's why we are where we are. I know that the teams that are inside Heart and Hustle are the teams that they are. I know that Team Farmhands, that Glow Getters Empire, that Heart and Hustle, that Grace and Grit, that I, I literally could keep going on, that the teams inside Heart and Hustle are just phenomenal teams. But this is where you need to be. If you've ever felt like an outcast, if you've ever felt unwanted, no matter where you are in life, you will not get that here. I do not like this. I genuinely think this is all bullshit. And I also have my personal connection to this woman in regards to a personal experience that also makes me think completely otherwise. And I think other people in regards to like anti-MLM have had a negative experience with this woman. When we share facts and information, she immediately takes it personally in regards to you're bullying, you're harassing me, and she got, gets super super duper pissed off. Like I've had a video where I reacted to her entire response to anti-MLM concepts, but her response to it was very contradictory, very weird and unethical. And then to further my point even, she's personally messaged me before and I still remember this to this day. She messaged me and said like, she was essentially going to husband's a cop, like, okay, cool. But her husband, she was good. She's like, I'm an officer's wife. I don't know. She said something about like, she's a wife of a cop and she can essentially get me in trouble legally for bullying, which I was like, I am not. I am using you as an example of what is being unethical in this industry. I've seen like her husband interact with comments and things and going off. Like she will use certain things and certain powers when she doesn't get her way from my personal experience to go off on people. So I'm just saying, I, with my experience, with other people's experience with this individual, don't think that it is in any way a true safe girl gang. Because if, I feel like if you think anything different than her in regards to MLMs and if you leave, you're not gonna get that love and support like you did if you were on her team and I feel like that speaks complete volumes if anything that sisterhood like I said still makes me cringe because of the hurt that I've had in the past this is what a sisterhood is supposed to be is right here it's all of you so if you've watched these today and you've seen how inspirational like I said in my story earlier is that I don't have extra special sauce they don't have extra special sauce all of the extra special sauce that we have, you have too. Like you are the Big Mac sauce, okay? Like you're drool worthy. Or maybe you're like more like in and out special sauce. <laughs> Can you tell I'm hungry? Anyway, you are the special sauce. You have it. You come here and we'll show you exactly what to do. So you bring your heart and we'll help you with the hustle and we will help you hit every single goal. And it does not matter what that goal looks like. You guys, when I wanted to, when I joined this company, I wanted 500 bucks to help pay for debt and our new truck that we had to get. That's what I wanted. And look where we are now. Look at all these women. Look at their stories today. All right. I hope that these stories inspired you. I hope that you could see yourself inside these stories. I hope that you can see that our team is not just made up of fluff and glitter because we are real women. We are real life women. We are real life moms. We are made up of so many different backgrounds and stories and literally everything. We, we heart and hustle and the teams inside heart and hustle encompass so much <laughs> joey is joey is a pumpkin spice latte swirled up okay <laughs> i love you guys so much i hope that this event inspired you and if you're still sitting on the fence and you're still sitting here like me i hope you just like take all that negativity and just toss it out right now just toss it out because your future depends on you being brave enough to say yes Oh, there it is. Okay, Miss Kate, that is a bunch of bullshit. So saying that if anyone is curious or questioning it like eh, on the fence of it, instead provide facts to reassure them instead of telling them to throw the negativity away and just join. That's so unethical and weird. Like if anything, you want to prove of why you have an amazing opportunity. Prove it instead of just saying for them to ignore their feelings and just start. And your future and your success is dependent on if you just do it or not. Like in what world? Most people don't make good money. Most people make no money. This is literal. To me, this was major predatory brainwashing here. Moral of the story, I would personally stay far away from pharmacy. Again, it is a multi-level marketing company. It, it has, does have a dependency on recruitment. Not a good safe area at all, in my opinion. So that was it for today's video. If you guys have any other content that you guys want me to react to, make sure to comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.